PSI. We get an For several years, DCPA had a research contractor operate a full-scale blast testing facility inside one of the tunnels in an old seacoast artillery installation. A shock wave, shaped essentially like that from a megaton-sized weapon, was generated at point A. The test specimens you will see in this film were full-scale, 8 feet high by 12 feet wide interior partitions of various kinds. As the blast wave travels down the tunnel, it strikes a non-failing exterior type of wall with a window in it, position B. The blast wave then fills the small room and builds up a pressure on the interior partitions at position C. We will note the value of that build-up pressure for each of the partitions in the following film. In another part of the tunnel in chamber D, we were able to produce an overpressure which spilled through a window at position E into room F, which contained various items. Following the partition tests, you will see equipment normally found in an EOC subjected to test. This first wall, a six inch clay tile interior partition, is seen here at true speed, 13 miles per hour, under the influence of about one and a half pounds per square inch overpressure. Here the partition is shown again, but this time in slow motion. All the remaining partitions will be in slow motion. Here you see an 8-inch concrete block partition, acted upon by a little less than 4 pounds per square inch. It reaches a speed of 54 miles per hour. This sheetrock partition with ordinary 2x4 wood studs is subjected to just under 4 psi. We get another view of the partition, a side view. Watch carefully as the partition strikes the mannequin. The next two partitions are sheetrock with wood studs. This first one with the door closed. At an overpressure of just under 4 psi, it reaches a speed of 130 miles per hour. With the door open, and again at just under four pounds per square inch, 
the partition shows no increase in resistance, but it gains a speed of only 100 miles per hour. Here we see a similar partition at just under 2 psi, but with light metal studs instead of wood studs. Note how this partition tends to remain in a single piece. Here is a partition just like the previous one, but subjected to just under 4 psi. This window is struck by 2 psi. Note that the shards form into finer and finer fragments as the glass moves along. Now we see an end view of a room in an emergency operating center. In this case, it is not the overpressure which does the damage, but the high velocity airflow behind the shock front. Every piece of equipment in the room, 38 items, was rendered inoperable at 2 psi. We see the same room here from a side view.